find it. It doesn't seem to be on any of these stations. Keep looking. Oh, you're going too slow. Let me take the wheel. It's too fast. How could you even tell what's on? I can tell. Too late. Too late. I'm in the 40s. Gotta go around the horn. It's faster. That we must stop. This is the one. And look for the giant chicken. Now at. from Elijah's Beauty and today I will be showing you guys my full face routine um I wanted to do this video before we ended 2020 so we can see how I was doing my makeup in 2020 and we can see the progression through the years I know a lot of people a lot of makeup um channels do this so I wanted to participate in it before the year ended um I don't do my full face a lot so I'm still um adjusting to certain stuff like I think I need a darker concealer for my when I can do my highlights and my concealing but I learned to work with what I have and I'm it's very drug it's a drugstore um routine um and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah well, let's just get right into the look before I start rambling okay basically let me just pull this back because I don't want to get it in my hair but I also don't want to get it on my band see that seems to be where my hairline starts okay um like i said this is a drugstore <sighs> and really inexpensive products to be honest anybody can do use these buy these products they're very affordable okay so this is my makeup bin i just took some stuff out of there oh shoot because it was overflowing this is not all the makeup i have but it's the stuff that we should need. So, obviously, we're going to want to start off with priming our face, which I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, Mineral Infused Face Primer for that. Um, there's, like, really good reviews on this because I heard e.l.f. primers are, like, really good. And I'm just going to squirt a little bit on my face and use my hands to rub it in. And by the way, I already did my eyebrows because I just recorded, ended up recording a video. Um, but I have, I have shown you guys how I do my eyebrows before in a tutorial, which I just posted. If you want to know how to do, how I do my eyebrows, make sure you go check out that video. Video out, I'll put it on the iCard at the top. And now um, we'll be color correcting, um, which I really don't do that much of because. I don't feel like I really need to color correct that much. Like, I don't have any hyperpigmentation, really. I'm just going to color correct around the edges of my mouth. And on mm, some of my acne. So, I just color corrected with a red-toned um, concealer. Okay, what I, right now I use a matte foundation, but I really do want to get into um, dewy foundations because I'm not really um, a full face type of girl. Like, I feel like it looks better when you have dewy, but I have matte right now, so. Um, I currently use the Fit Me Maybelline um, in the shade oh, Latte, um, 358 Latte, yeah. And it's actually like a really good match for me. Um, it's pretty much perfect, especially in the um, when we're coming off of winter. And I'm going to apply this using my, if I can find it, foundation brush. Which is a fairly new thing that I started doing. Because I used to just put it on my face, dot, dot it with my finger and put it on my face. But recently I started doing this. And just um blending it with my uh what's it called it beauty blender but
but it looks like we're all blended. I might, sometimes I go in with a second reinforcement with my beauty blender just to make sure everything's blended. Um, what I actually forgot to show you guys is um, sometimes I'll use a moisturizer with my uh, foundation because it makes it more dewy looking and it keeps your, it doesn't dry your skin out because I have really dry, dry, I have combination skin but my skin can get really dry. So um, that just kind of helps prevent that from happening. But I forgot to do that, so it doesn't even matter. Um, the next step would be, obviously, well, not obviously, but there would be to conceal. And right now, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I do think I need a darker concealer than I have right here. This is not my shade, I don't think. I think that this is way too light. Um, so right now, we're just going to do a mix of Tan Walnut, the e.l.f. concealer Tan Walnut, and Deep Cinnamon. This could take a while, so I might just skip fast forward. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to begin our concealing process, which is actually a little bit... I'm trying to change my concealing process. Like, I want to use this um, concealer to conceal. I mean, to contour. I mean, yeah, contour. That's what I meant to say. I've been saying concealer this whole time. Um... But I feel like I'm finding issues with keeping it in the right spot. But we'll see. We'll see. Like, that's a little low. But that was my fault. And then I'm just going to do a little bit. Like that. And on the t very tip of my nose. Okay. So now that we have this, I'm not going to blend it with the beauty blender. I'm going to start. I'm just going to take some of the excess off. So I'm going to do that with the beauty blender. Because see, it starts to get a little bit uh, scattered. And then we're going to go in with my concealer contour brush with Atlantic. it's a sculpting contour brush and it's just like this and I'm just gonna start doing this again with that beauty blender This is just to make sure that it gets blended in how it's supposed to. Can't really tell. I really don't like my face to be like, but. So, that's good for me. I was going to blend this out on my nose a little bit. Yeah, and then we can blend this out on my forehead. We're just gonna take a buffing brush because you see that's clearly not blended. And we're just gonna, you know. Okay, so now that's blended out. Um, and now we're going to, now that we're done with concealer and contour, we're going to um, do my nose and set my face. So to do my nose, I like to do use actually a a liner brush compact angle liner I just feel like it's more easier it's easier to get um, precisely in the spot that I want my contour to be at for my nose and I like I said before I really don't like a cinched 
They look like that. Like, that's just not my thing. But, like, I don't look to, like to look, like, I don't really want a skinny nose or anything. Like, that's just not my thing. Okay, so like these, like I said, and I'm just gonna do a little bit more with just my finger. So now my nose is contoured, but it looks, I don't know. And we're gonna um, set our face now, which I use. I need to get a loose powder and a translucent powder, but right now I'm using using the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel London in the shade um, 21 Nude. The glare. But that's what it looks like. It looks way lighter than I feel like it might be, actually, in real life, but I don't really know. But basically, I kind of just, like, scratch, not really scratch some of this up, but, like, uh... Um, eyeshadow and it kind of comes up like that's kind of what I do until it comes up like that until I have enough for me to actually do my face so since I'm using I use that to rub I'm going to use that same brush and set the middle of my nose cuz I did put concealer there but yeah so now we're gonna take my beauty blender you're probably like girl use this beauty blender for everything and you wouldn't be wrong but I'm just going to dip it into the powder a little bit. So I get about that much. And I'm going to set. See how it's like not really as light as it seems. Now I'm going to set my chin a little bit. And my forehead. Cause though I didn't put any concealer on my forehead, this will like help. Cause so we're just gonna let that sit. I bronze with a non-bronzer. Like I don't have like a bronzing palette or whatever. I don't even know if they sell bronzing or like a bronzing like shade, whatever. But I'm just gonna bronze with my uh Bronze and blush with my blush brush, which is look like this. And I don't use that pink. That pink is just staying on there from when I. I use like a warm tone shade, obviously. And then I'm just going to bronze up here. It'll also be my blush. And I don't like a lot of blush. I'm not like a girl that likes a lot of blush. So I'm just going to do a little bit just to warm up my face. Oh, that's a lot. Ugh. It's not showing up that much from when I'm looking in the mirror. I like about how I put it on this side. But that's okay because I have my buffing brush and I can literally just... Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to highlight and do our lips. And honestly, at this point, I can now brush off that setting powder because it's already kind of brushed off. I don't really bake for that long. So now that we've done that, we're done setting. Okay, and now we're going to, um, what do I say highlight? And usually I don't, I just pick a, like, a soft highlight to do. I don't feel like, the highlight that I have is all the way at the bottom, and I really don't feel like getting it, so I'm just going to use an eyeshadow shade that's, like, really soft. And I'm probably going to use, I'll show you guys, I'll probably use this shade right here this one I 
Okay, so now that we've done that, and we're going to do our lip combo, which I also have a video coming out about lip combos, so stay tuned for that. But right now, since I'm just going to do um, a little bit of brown, as you can see, I have a natural brown, like, liner, like, my stuff is natural, like, it's... So, I really don't, like, doing the brown really doesn't do too much for me. But I'll still do it in anyways for the sake of the video. So, I've taken a brown liner and my lips together. Like I said, it's not going to do too much for me because I already have um, brown, like, natural liner, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to take this gloss that says it's pink, but it's literally clear. But it's by Ellen Tracy. I'm just gonna rub that in. I'm gonna do really light in the middle. So I like to start with that one. You know, I do a lot of that in the middle, and then I'm gonna go in with the darker one by Ellen Tracy. Um, and do the outside. that pretty much concludes how i do my make my routine for 2020 it's cheap cheap and i can leave that drawers open this whole time bro not even know it's cheap and inexpensive and it's easy for anybody to follow to be honest um so if you would like to use mine as a guide for your own um face do as you please but yeah this is the video make sure you like um comment and subscribe to my channel period Put me on, put your friends on and me because why wouldn't you want them to look like bad bitties together? Send this to at least one person, please, 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 come on. And period. Watch my other videos if you see more makeup content. Make sure you subscribe. And Elijah out. Period. <laughs>